Last time on Sailboat Story, we pumped 100 gallons of contaminated diesel into the center tank. We cleaned and scrubbed one of the 50 gallon side tanks, filled it with fresh diesel, got the engine running again, and headed back out to continue north towards Green Cove Springs, Florida. All dark. That's okay. Ready to wrap up this trip, baby? Oh yeah. We hope to make it to Green Cove Springs today. There's a very small chance they might haul us out today if we get there in time. It's gonna it's gonna be really late us getting there. Doubtful they might be able to haul us out, but we're gonna try. It's like uh, we would be getting there pretty late. And uh, today's Friday. They don't haul, do haul outs on Saturday and Sunday. So if not today, then we've got to wait through the weekend and do Monday. Yep. But we're going to do what we can. We'll see what we can do. Yep. Still a beautiful sunrise. I'm not up to see many sunrises, so... <laughs> got to enjoy it while I can. Tammy's, Tammy's more of a sunset kind of gal. <laughs> Sunrises, not so much. Nope. Alright, let's have a good day. Yeah, let's do it. Up 
not too much to run into out here. No. <laughs> All right, I should probably go back. I'll come back. Lead the way, my dear. Lovely. That's one of my favorite places on the boat. Okay, here we are at our final anchorage before we make it to the marina tomorrow morning. And the marina actually is just, let's see if I can get a still enough base here to show you. So just looking off in that direction. I'm gonna zoom in a bit more. Yeah, you, okay. You can kind of see the big uh, boats out there. That is the marina right over there. Just to our south, I guess about another mm, I don't know, two, three miles, something like that. It's supposed to be a really easy, calm, comfortable night. Today was a long day. What was today, Tamby? 62 hours? I mean, miles? 64? What was it? Yeah, 60, I think it was 62 or something like that. That was a long run. It was. That was all the way from Shell Bluff and St. Augustine to Green Cove here. Man. Yep. Very long day. Yeah. I am hungry. Knocked it out though. Good. tired. Hungry and tired. Good job today, honey. You too, babe. Man, you are such a good sport, babe. There's... <laughs> Not many women could do what you do, much less put up with me, so good on you, honey. Thanks. <laughs> You're not going to defend me at all on that, are you? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Alright, Tembi just got dinner finished. Just wanted to kind of show you the situation here, like, you know. By the way, I'm, I'm not knocking the owner or anything like that. This is just a unique situation, the way we're going about pursuing the purchase of this boat. Uh, and we just, living with the owner's stuff for this week was just part of what we had to do to make this happen. Yeah. But anyways, there's, there's just stuff, you know, all over in the entire boat. E everywhere you look, there's just stuff, just clutter and stuff, you know, everywhere. Some is his, some is ours, and there's just nowhere to sit. Tamby literally is sitting in pretty much the only seat available in the entire boat. <laughs> So I am perched here on the companionway, sitting on a boat cushion. This has been, this has been how we have gone about eating our, our dinners this entire week. Mhm. Mm yeah. Couple of nights we ate in the cockpit when it wasn't too cold. Oh yeah, yeah, that that's right. Yeah, we did have a couple in the cockpit. That was nice. One we ate back in the bedroom while we watched Survivor. Oh yeah, that was a nice night that was too. A great night. Uh huh. That was the night that we were uh, back at Titusville and we were waiting out the weather. Yep, probably the best night of this whole trip. I don't know, this one's pretty nice too. Okay. We've had some good nights. It has a sunset dinner. Yeah, nice sunset dinner. Yeah, check that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just wanted to let it be known that while we are just... This has been kind of an odd trip living in all the, you know, the clutter and stuff and all of the crazy problems and challenges we've had along the way. This has not been a bad trip. No. We're, I actually look, I feel like I would look back on this very fondly. Mm -hmm. And one thing I wanted to mention is this is the longest Tammy and I have been away from Molly ever. Yeah. Yeah. And we miss her very, very badly. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, this has been a really cool trip for just me and Tammy. Just to be by ourselves for a little bit. Just enjoy each other's company. Try not to sink the boat. Uh, I mean, there's been some challenges, but it's been a really good trip. Mm -hmm. It has been good. Yeah. All good memories, baby. That's right. So here's a couple of interesting clips I wanted to share with you of something we discovered during this time motoring the boat up the ICW. So 
what you're looking at here is basically the stuffing box and uh, rudder shaft access from the aft cabin. Now if you look real closely you can see a drip way down there in the bilge and that's pretty normal for a stuffing box. But what I noticed here was that there's actually water coming in from somewhere above the stuffing box. You see all that water on that nut right there that's over top of the packing gland? Well, I traced that stream um, up and that basically led me to uh, this area here where the rudder quadrant is. Now you gotta get all these boards and things out of the way. You gotta kinda take the bed apart in the aft cabin to access the steering and uh, you know the rudder quadrant and all this stuff. But upon closer examination, I found quite a bit of water coming in from this um, the rudder quadrant area and this rubber seal and that bronze stuffing box that is supposed to support the rudder I guess but not really so I, I guess maybe the the packing inside that stuffing box is bad but irregardless there's quite a bad leak there that we're gonna have to deal with because that is not acceptable Next time on Sailboat Story, Tamby climbs the mast to fix a halyard that's wrapped around the furler. The view from the top is pretty nice. The view from the bottom isn't that bad either. And we haul the boat out of the water so that we can begin our summer refit. All right, hey, we just wanted to take a minute to say thank you to our newest patrons who have joined the crew. So we would like to welcome... The Normingtons. Barbara. Jimmy. Steven. Todd and Ed. So we really, really appreciate you guys coming on board. It uh, really makes the difference for us being able to make these videos. We truly couldn't do it without you. Also, I want to thank people who have sent us things off of our Amazon wish list. Things such as this uh, boroscope here. This is going to be very helpful for, you know, helping figure out the fuel tank issues and such as that. Uh, we've got these, what is that, The Tammy? vacuum seal bags. Uh-huh. We don't have a vacuum sealer yet, but those are going to be pretty sweet. Somebody sent me a tube of uh, 3M4200, so yeah, we're going to have to be careful with this stuff. Might be a little more dramatic than we uh, want it to be, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. What do you got there, Molly? Sealing tape. Butyl tape. All of our port lights leak in this boat, so we're going to get those sealed up. And then, Tammy, we got one more thing here. This is an electrical kit. Little eye terminals and ring terminals and little heat shrinky uh, uh, butt terminals, I think they're called. So lots of electrical work to do on this boat as well. So thank you very much for you guys sending that stuff. Every bit of this is going to be, you know, well used on all the projects we have to do. Um, there's a lot more stuff on that list. If anybody else wants to chip in and help out, um, check out the Amazon wish list or most certainly become a patron. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>